go. And New York has possession. Down low. Here's Robinson. It's tipped. And he gets it back. Yep, count it. And here's Detroit. Here's Jack. And it's Stephen Curry with the rebound. Brent, you could hit the three back in your day, and no doubt, Stephen Curry is the best three-point shooter in league history. What makes him so good from deep? To me, B.A., it comes down to the way that Steph goes about his habits in practice. If you ever watch footage of him in pregame warm-ups or in the offseason, there is so much variability in what he does in terms of preparing his feet and hands to shoot the basketball. There's no one that practices the way that Steph does. And there's no one that produces the way that he does either. And Peel finds a way to the bucket. How'd he do that? To the inside. And it's good. Fought through contact. Hit the shot and will go to the line. Detroit shooting their first free throw of the game here. First quarter, just over a minute play. Oh, it's stolen. To the left side wing. Here's Jack. George outside. Out to the wing. There's the three. The offensive rebound. And here's New York now. To the paint. Here's Beal. Shoots over Tatum. Second shot opportunity. Beal's shot is good. Just such a polished scorer. Bradley Beal getting to the interior. Let's it go. Oh, they get a hand on it. In transition. Wide open. And that makes him three for four. He's looking good. Now that's a needle in the haystack shot right there. You're not going to hit that one all that often. And so George will bring it up for Detroit. It's a five-point game. Pass to Tatum. That shot off. Good work defensively by Robinson. On to Kumpo with it. Guarded now by George. Curry finds some space. The rebound by Detroit. I know it's about defending the post and the three-point line these days, but still got to be active in the mid-range area, and the defense gets away with one there. Here's Tatum. Good work there as it goes. And sometimes you forget how long Tatum is, and he's terrific at using this to his advantage inside. Outside Robinson. Goes back up. Shot blocked. Up top, Tatum. Yes, and it's Booker with the setup. Tatum's got the second bucket. Attacking in the painted area. Clearly, that was their game plan coming in. And it's going to be out of bounds. New York will have another go. Up top, Robinson. Irving for three. Sinks it from distance. Zero hesitation. Irving was all set to go. To the middle. Here's Towns. Nice start for him. Sinking his first shot. When they get their opportunity to punch it inside, they don't hesitate. Beal outside. And again, New York with the triple. Yeah, not a lot of people would call that a good shot, but if it's Bradley Beal, it might be. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. It's stolen by Irving. And a big finish by Robinson. And that's what happens when you don't take care of the ball. Hey, that makes the turnover hurt even more. And the gamble. Oh, yes, sir. Oh, that's what you two wow. need for right there. Wow. Oh, I love this guy. Even when they're trailing, he works hard to put on a show. Hey, that might be just what they need right now. For three, Booker. Bradley 
Beal has been leading the charge for Port New York. Hunting for opportunities, leading to nine points in the quarter. Back to the game after this break. If you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. And breaking down some numbers here, the hustle stats for New York. They started this one on a mission to own their offensive rebounds, outworking the defense to win back the ball and get second chance shots. Well, they've really attacked off of the turnovers, so leaking out and capitalizing on fast break stuff. And the basket is good. He got it to go and he took the bump. So a free throw coming up, an opportunity at a three-point play. And one thing that Moran has always been a lead at, finding a seam in a defense and getting to the rim, Grant. Yeah, any crack allows him to get inside. And as good as anyone at splitting a double, which he sees a lot of, so once inside, he can finish with authority or kick it out to a shooter. Here's Booker. Outside Curry. Here's Tatum. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. Ja Morant picks one up. An ascending superstar, Tatum has really honed in on what he does best on the offensive end. It's his first trip to the line. He does not get the second one. And here's Detroit. Trailing by two. Here's Moran. That misses. Had a chance to tie it. Inside. Oh, he's a menace in the paint. On an Akumpo. Yeah, Giannis has great confidence, and he's playing with it here. Takes a 13-footer. Here's Randolph. He's in his comfort zone. Two for two to start this one. Oh, beating everyone to the ball. Great activity on the offensive glass. And a timeout called here by Doc Rivers. He's going to talk it over with his guys. Just over a minute has passed here in the second quarter. Gilgis Alexander on the wing. Pass to Irving. Three-pointer. Randolph grabs the miss. And here's Detroit. Now Booker. Launches a three. Benson grabs a miss. And so it's Irving with it. He brings it up for New York. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Irving's got five points. And making the most of that inside opening. It's almost too easy for Kyrie. Pass to Randolph. Back to Irving. There's the triple. And it's New York with a rebound. Two minutes and here's Gilgis Alexander. Lays it up and banks it in. Gilgis Alexander's got his first bucket in this one. Gilgis Alexander is such a tough cover, especially at his size. Oh, what ferocity on the throwdown. I just love when he goes up with purpose. Where was the D right there? The effort lacking big time. There's some ways to get your coach's attention, and that draws the coaching staff's ire. Tatum. Rejected by James. Big time swat LeBron James making his presence felt. Detroit trails by four. Well, Grant, even though it looks like LeBron could play forever, he stated that he doesn't have much time left. Well, it's unbelievable that he sustained this level of excellence for as long as he has. I would be surprised if we see this type of longevity ever again. Love the focus here from SGA at the arc. He hates to waste those opportunities. And we've got a timeout called by Ime Udoka. 
He wants to give him a breather and talk things over. Here in the second quarter, about three minutes played. Outside Booker puts up a deep three. Here's Randolph. Second chance effort. And that's two points on the layup. Randolph's got eight. Well, this guy never quits on the offensive glass. Randolph continuing to torch the defense down there. Count it good. All the way to the bucket. No resistance. Just swipe the candy from him. Here in the second quarter, just under three and a half minutes played. And stolen by Anadokupo. And here comes the break. And it's slammed in by Carter. Uh, we all know how devastating Kyrie can be scoring the basketball, but very encouraging to see how he's trying to set up his teammates as a playmaker right here. Pass to George. The teardrop. Can't hit it. He's 0 for 2 now. Uh, for him, it's harder to miss that shot than it is to make that shot. I think he was anticipating a bit of a bump there. Now Booker, yet to see a basket. Up and over Carter. The three is up. Devin Booker for three! Now what a great option he gives them on every possession. And so that brings the first half to a close. New York out in front, leading by six. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. in that first half we saw a pretty tight battle we'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime here's Jack to the middle and stolen by Anadokupo and they're on the run three-pointer Beal and that one falls his fifth basket in seven tries and Bradley Beal looks to be in a great flow right now, and he's hitting every beat. The three is up. Jack can't hit. New York leading by nine. Lots of room. He squares up and sinks it. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. And he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away. Hey, kept it simple. No reason to get fancy right now, B.A. Yeah, he's just looking to find shots and produce for his team. Well, Grant, they say early in Giannis's career, he had to work not just on his game, but his attitude. And that's true, B.A. It wasn't a bad attitude. He just lacked an edge. The ruthless mindset that all great players have. But man, once he got that edge, he never lost it. And Ime Udoka time out, time has out. called timeout. I think right now he must be looking at some adjustments. Well, Grant, if you talk about consistent top-level scores, Devin Booker is near the top of that list. Yeah, and going back to the 17-18 season, Devin has averaged at least 25 points every year. Who can create his own shot and finish? It's hard finding guys who can do both. New York making a switch here. Stolen by Carter. And they're pushing it up. Here's Beal. And then Beal with the dunk. Yeah, you got to find Bradley Beal even in transition because he's going to get out there and fill that lane. First minute and a half of basketball played here in the third quarter. And he probably thought he was going to bury that one. James, outside. Back to Beal. For three. A 
Matumbo with a rebound. Detroit trails by 11. Vince Carter. First personal foul. First team foul. To the paint. Here's Booker. Oh, rejected by Beal. A Beal able to get up and get a hand on it. Two minutes gone in this third quarter now. And the basket by Matumbo. New York leading by nine. The three from Curry. Offensive rebound. Out to James. Second chance shot. Three-pointer. Beal. That doesn't go either for Beal. Oh, even though he misses that one, the defense has got to talk about that. And that's a bad miscue. And he can't give up looks like that all game long. He's going to punish you if you leave him open. He's more than willing to take the open three when he's got it. And the basket by Beal. You saw he altered his release, allowing him to get around his defender and then laid it in. There's a minute 17 left in the third quarter. There's Tatum with the three. And it's New York with a rebound. Tipped. Now here's Jokic. Still without a bucket. Beal gets the bucket. And that's what he's known for, right? His ability to scan the floor and find open guys. Booker for three. Jokic grabs the board. New York leading by 10. Takes the three. James. And it's James with the jam. This can make it so much easier for your teammate when you throw that lead pass that gets to him right on the money, whether that's on the run or in the shooting pocket. Double team on James. Booker with it. Now Carter defending. Pass to Tatum. Fires for three. Nikola Jokic grabs the miss. And Doc Rivers calls timeout. We might see him looking to make some tweaks to the strategy here. It looks now like he's in a lot of pain. He called timeout, and the trainer's going to have a chance to check him out. Substitution on the court. Second half here, and we're just over three and a half minutes into it. Pass to Booker. Here's James. Outside for Booker. And the three off target. Fires the three. Gets the three to fall. Ariza's got five. Right side, Booker. And so it's New York, leading by six as we wrap up the quarter. Just pounding the painted area. That's helped them build an advantage. All right, we'll get back to the action after this break. And with three quarters behind us, we'll start the fourth in what is still anybody's ball game. York leading by six. Irving with it. Going inside. Uses the glass on the layup. Woo, just selling the defense on the pump fake. And so it's Irving who brings up the ball for Detroit. Pass to Booker. Right side Irving. The three. Detroit another three. Yeah, that's a shot that Kyrie's never going to pass up and exactly the mindset that his team needs. Outside Irving. Three-pointer. Ariza pulls down the board. Detroit trails by five. Puts up a deep three. And it's Irving missing. Outside Irving. From the baseline. It's good, and he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. 
New York making a switch here. All right, a look at how the points have been generated so far. A scoring breakdown for New York. Well, they did a tremendous job keeping guys fresh. Their aggressiveness took over, showcased by their points off the fast break. Their attacking of the offensive glass has also been a success story. All game long, they've been committed to finding those second chance opportunities. Pass to Tatum from the arc. JT for three. You know, this team relies on Tatum hitting those shots, and that's why he's such a high volume three point shooter. Outside Irving. Kumpo, left side. Carter on the wing. Beal outside. The rebound by Detroit. Yeah, better than giving up the layup, you want to go in there and use the hard foul. They did it there. That's aggressive attitude defensively. And the foul on the shot. So he'll take two from the free throw line. First personal foul. First team foul. And he makes a first. Good on the second, so he makes them both. You might want to think twice before sending him to the line again. He gets locked in when the game gets close. Back to Anadokounmpo. And there's a defensive three-second call. And the technical free throw is good. One thing Bradley Beal does so well with his craft is he'll probe the defense. He's very patient. He's looking for weaknesses, and typically he'll find them. It's Beal on the wing. Back to Anadokounmpo. Five on the clock. And count the basket. He was fouled, and he's going to the line for one more. And that one falls for Ana de Kumpo. And Giannis will just about do anything the coaching staff asks. A true team player. And we've got a timeout called by Ime Udoka. He is not messing around. Calling them into the huddle. words of confidence for his team saying all it takes is a few chances we make a few plays down the stretch we can steal this thing from them back to you guys thanks for that Allie New York leading by five and now let's check in with Allie LaForce to see how Nikola Jokic is doing Allie I was able to catch up with New York's head athletic trainer he said they're concerned this is a serious injury and it's going to keep him out of the rotation all right, Allie, thank you. Sadly, that's not the news fans were hoping for, guys. Definitely not. Seems like he's got a long, tough road ahead of him. Yeah, and this makes it particularly rough for this team. Other teammates now are going to have to step up, and it seems like it's going to be an extended period of time, so not easy to do. Booker can't get it to go. They've done a great job of moving the ball tonight. Yeah, B.A., keeping everybody involved keeps everyone engaged. Tatum... This one for three. And it's New York with a rebound. They held a 12-point lead earlier. Back to Tatum. Pass to Booker. Takes a three. Oh, yeah! Booker dialing long distance. That's Booker's specialty. So good at rising up and connecting off the catch. Here's Matumbo. Another shot. And he buries it. Just five. A stronger defensive presence would have saved them two points. It didn't seem like anybody was really aware there to go and collect that rebound in the possession. They've been battling all night. Now they're on the brink of putting this game away. No, great job of getting in position 
to win a game. It's been an all-out effort from the squad. Howard with the ball. Guarded now by George. Booker no good. And short of a miracle, they're walking out of here with a tough loss. They fought all night. A terrific effort. But they just couldn't make enough big plays. Leader from distance. And the shot is good on the assist by Tatum. Jason Tatum. So New York wins it. 